we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right Hey, good evening folks. Well, welcome to my channel. Uh, hopefully I can contribute to the YouTube community uh, as a way of uh, sharing some knowledge and experience. And if I can help somebody uh, like I've been helped greatly uh, through the YouTube community, which uh, I'm truly grateful to each and everybody who I subscribe to, uh, you learn something from, from everybody. Everybody's got something to contribute. And uh, I really do appreciate the, the time and effort uh, that people put into creating content for YouTube, uh, for people like myself who become quite passionate about my photography. Uh, at the moment, I'm, I'm, I'm doing wildlife. As many of you who know me know that I'm uh, thoroughly enjoying my wildlife at the moment. And I'm currently working on uh, a barn owl project um, it was time to stop procrastinating about joining YouTube I've got all the gear no idea uh, but uh, I've decided to jump in uh, there's enough support uh, around me to hopefully help me out and same with it with everything with the photography it's a, a gradual improvement and uh, hopefully with some positive uh, and, and negative feedback I don't mind feedback is feedback it uh, uh, I enjoy all kinds of, of feedback um, it'd be good if uh, if you do like my content if you uh, if you want to pass comment engage with me I, I'll try and reply to every comment um, but I am busy uh, I'm busy out shooting as much as I possibly can uh, some of you may know, I, I'm, uh, besides being ex-forces, I'm ex-paramedic as well, uh, but I, I retired a few years ago and uh, took up uh, photography. Um, and, uh, I was working part-time, uh, but I've recently been made redundant, so I'm just enjoying at least a month uh, of, uh, of photography as much as possible uh, before I, I try and... Uh, probably get myself another little part-time job to just uh, top up my pension, keep uh, keep funding me, my hobby. As everybody knows, it, uh, it it's quite expensive uh, photography. So hopefully uh, you enjoy the channel and I can uh, have a bit of fun, uh, create some beautiful images uh, and uh, decorate my home. That's, that's the plan. And develop my portfolio and move to getting my website one day and creating a, an online gallery for my own personal uh, enjoyment and to, to share. Uh, and another big uh, reason for creating the channel is I'm a, I am was sharing mainly on, on Facebook, which uh, panoramics uh, and some of the high quality images, it, Facebook just crushes the detail in everything. So uh, I've decided that was quite a good motivator to, to actually say, right, create a YouTube channel and share your content in high definition and, and, and 4K uh, and people can start to see the real, hopefully, good, good quality. Uh, as well as, uh, I don't mind sharing bad images, which you, you'll see as we go through. Uh, so I have made this start around this Barn Oil project. I did... Uh, shoot it at three locations and I came to the best location which is this one first so it may seem a bit um, illogical but 
uh, I filmed it in reverse order so I apologize for that because it, it doesn't quite fit right but I put it down to a learning curve uh, and uh, I'll improve next time but I'm back here tonight uh, and we'll talk about that uh, what I'm trying to achieve tonight in a moment okay good morning folks welcome to site three this is been my most favourite, most productive site. Uh, it's at the base of the Trough of Boland. Uh, I'm not going to give uh, the exact location away due to the... Uh, I have seen a, a, a barn owl that's been shot recently. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm not giving any locations away at the, at the moment. Uh, but, it's, like I say, it's been my most productive site. Uh, I've had a real treat this morning, uh, not one barn owl, but two barn owls. Uh, just mainly shot some, some B-roll and practiced uh, uh, my clear image zoom video uh, setting, which uh, with the A7 III, if I go into APS-C mode uh, and then clear image zoom, I get 1.5 in APS-C additional focal length. And then if I go into clear image zoom in 4k I get an additional 1.5 uh, and I was using me 100 to 400 uh, and just giving that a whirl this morning to see if I could capture some more b-roll and uh, no photographs uh, uh, as such uh, I am going to show me photographs uh, at, at the end of this clip and like this is uh, this site's produced uh, my most favorite barn owl images ever which has always been a dream to to get a full frame shot of a barn owl in flight uh, at the moment uh, I'm near where one of the perches are uh, which I have noticed uh, the barn owl and I have got some shots of the barn owl uh, one of the barn owls perched <clears throat> on this branch uh, but over to my left is where the sun sets and I'll put an image up uh, which I have shared on social media already but the sunset was absolutely fantastic uh, and I've got a dream shot of a perched barn owl on, on this branch here on the left. Uh, I have got a camouflage net set up over there uh, and it's a case of uh, being patient really. Uh, so I could uh, come in and just sit and wait. But one of the things that I, I have noticed on uh, my project of, of barn owls is I've been far more productive when I've just observed, got to the area and, and observed, uh, looking at the behavior, looking at uh, the flight paths, which routes they use, uh, and this, this site, uh, Every time I've been to this site, I've seen barn owls. And that's why I would say it's the most productive. Uh, so, <clears throat> like I say, I, I have got a, a dream shot, but it could take some time. One of the key factors, I've got a, a, quite a cold easterly wind this morning, hence the silly hat. Uh, and it's been quite brisk, uh, just using the... Uh, uh, my gimbal to try and capture some video of, of the owls uh, but uh, they, I wasn't too hopeful because they don't really like to hunt in high winds and it's the winds set to pick up uh, I believe so um, and I, I came really to check my trail cam uh, to see uh, if the owls are still perching there um, and to see if I've captured any i have seen deer a red deer in this area as well so like it's one of it's probably my most favorite site uh, for wildlife photography that uh, i've discovered at the moment when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the 
Okay, folks, I'm going to uh, check my trail cam. Uh, as you can see, it's I, I use a like a bike lock uh, and a special tree mount, uh, and it has been set up to to look at the uh, the potential perch shots. Um, so I'm just going to. It's always the exciting part with this kind of trail cam uh, is have you captured anything? Uh, uh, and it's no loss if you've not, but it's a great way of uh, researching an area and it can save hours and hours and hours of time. So I'm just going to... Uh, I'm actually going to move it. These high winds uh, are putting me off uh, leaving it up. It's not the most secure, so it's, it's going to wobble around quite a lot. Um, so, and it, it's well, so nobody could steal that. It, uh, it, it, it's one of the things that they're not the cheapest bits of kit, but the fantastic. Same as uh, I have got another one arriving today that's going to have a, a cellular capability and it, it will send images to me instantly uh, so you can get some real good feedback. Especially if I think it's a 25 minute journey to get to this location. Uh, I do want to study uh, the deer and where the deer uh, are uh, resting this grass. You can, as I walk, walk around, you can see animal paths through into this uh, tall grass. Uh, and 
I, I just want to try and investigate where I could set up for a, a really good deer shot. But, uh, This is a, a browning. Uh, we'll just turn it off. And then the first time I uh, set these up, uh, I'm a bit mindful of high winds and, and grass. Uh, grass just seems to trigger it, uh, moving grass. The first few times that I used it, all I captured, well, I thought I got to the trail cam and I thought, oh, 27 videos, oh, brilliant. I've, uh, yeah. 27 videos of grass moving so I learned that lesson <laughs> uh, so let, let's just see if uh, if I've got anything on here now it's saying five now one two of them I always think right that's one of me walking away and uh, what one of me walking to the trail cam yeah so Okay. Uh, it, I've got a crow or a pigeon, I think. It, uh, I don't think it's captured anything, but uh, it's. I find it much better to, to check it once I get back home um, and get it on the computer. Uh, but I don't think I've, I've captured it, anything. Uh, worthwhile uh, but I could say that's I could have spent two uh, two or three evenings for me dream shot to come and sit there and wait for the owl to come and perch but what it, what the the owls do is what I have noted particularly this morning with a higher wind is they they choose a perch that's out of the wind um, so with an easterly wind that we've got this morning uh, this tree is facing east. I, I, I was not expecting to find any uh, owls being perched uh, on this site at all. Uh, but I, I have got some B-roll of where, the, uh, where one of the owls perched this morning. It was classic, very clever actually. Um, a second uh, bush behind a big... Uh, foliage and, and he seemed to be relatively sheltered uh, as he took a rest in between his feeding. Uh, for those of you who don't know they uh, they commonly hunt mice and vole uh, and this is just must be teeming with wildlife uh, especially to see two of them out uh, f hunting and feeding. I, I, do, I was beginning to wonder are, are they hunting together but no they went commonly on the separate ways and they just came together uh, as couples commonly uh, for, for a meal. Okay folks as you can see is you can is the uh, the drain well it's shown on the OS maps as a drain but uh, it looks like a classic dike to me but the commonly see the owls uh, over this shorter grass although they do go down by the tree line I have seen them in that far tree line or over there um, but it's full of little paths and uh, easy little walkways and then nice little footbridge to uh, get back to the car and maybe uh, Have a play with the uh, the leafy suit, but I don't think I'm going to shoot. Bother setting up shooting uh, today. And like I say, I have got some some really nice shots from this location. But as, uh, hopefully, this camera will pick it up. The, well, there's the trough of Borland in in front of us as the clouds lifting a little bit, but. It, Looks a bit bleak up there and what could be blowing in today. 
uh, not the best uh, wildlife photography conditions and uh, Okay, folks, let's have a look at this. Uh, I've deemed this as a, what I'd call a, a natural hide. Uh, <coughs> great little location if you haven't got any dark clothing or anything and you just want to uh, go into a world where you're not camouflaged as such. Uh, but I've got some footage of him perched on on this this morning and like I say the big the big tr tree behind is obviously uh, acting as a windbreak uh, still some movement there but he took a little rest stop uh, but inside here uh, a great little spot to actually look out and they do hunt regularly uh, all in front of me here so you've got a big field of view uh, to get a shot and it'd be quite easy to to just stay low and and hidden uh, and to just a bit of sneaky beaky so that you can grab your shot uh, but another perch discovered today but like I say you need to be really mindful of the wind direction uh, and where they're likely to go for a rest stop uh, and I have seen them I've been here at uh, all times of the day really but the first thing in the morning and uh, and in the evening uh, they're, they're out regularly but I did see them out in the middle of the day uh, couple of days ago um, and they, they commonly are along whether my car's parked over over there they commonly along the edge of that of that road and like I say very tolerant uh, of, of people parked parked up and you will see people parked up here uh, to come and watch the owls because it's such a regular occurrence uh, say it's a it's an absolutely brilliant sight love it Okay folks, so what I'm going to try and achieve tonight is an improvement on the background within my images. I came here last night with uh, my gorgeous lady Andrina and we were uh, parked up uh, in this lay-by which is just in front of me uh, and we, we had an evening of watching the, the barn owls uh, and the light was absolutely gorgeous, it, uh, the, the sun sets as you can see it's dropping down now uh, and I got some just in front of me some reasonable shots uh, of the barn owl being backlit uh, and lovely ghostly uh, image that one of them that, that I really quite enjoyed but I, I'm just considering whether silent shooting is, is having an impact on the softness uh, you'll see with with that image uh, which I will share that the wings are quite soft uh, and hence I named that image the, the ghost owl which barn owls are commonly known as uh, as ghost owls uh, 
So uh, tonight I'll be shooting, uh, turning silent, shooting off, and I'm going to concentrate on uh, going to the middle of the field where the dike is uh, or where the drain is and creating the, the area on the left with the trees uh, and hopefully I'll, I'll get the owl with a better background and if the tot storm passes which it looks like it's heading to Blackpool so any storm chasers out there good luck uh, with the storm uh, tonight uh, but what I'm hoping to do is as the uh, sun sets, get some backlit shots of uh, the barn owl with some of the green foliage and, and some of the, the, the bushes and tree area uh, to act as a background um, and hopefully uh, create a beautiful contrast uh, with a backlit barn owl shot with a dark background so so that's the plan the first plan uh, plan b is move further down to the perched area and sit in the camouflage net uh, or, or under the camouflage net uh, with me, me tripod gimbal uh, get a perch shot from within me camouflage net and i may set i am going to if the conditions are look promising i'm going to set up for my dream shot so if if the storm passes and there's some color uh and some nice light uh, on the horizon then i may uh, and obviously the the key player is the barn owl sat on sat on the perch it's uh it, it, it's a, a potentially a beautiful shot but the chances of getting a barn owl to sit on the perch are few and far between. But uh, unless I try, uh, then I'll always regret not trying if, the, if there's a, a good sunset. And I, I have seen the barn owl perched, or one of the barn owls perched uh, of an evening uh, on the perch. So I'm going to have me uh, 16 or 24 millimeter. I'm not quite decided yet. I'll, I've, I've got my landscape kit with me. Um, and I'm going to be setting up uh, my A7 uh, 4 on a remote uh, and see if I can get a remote shot with the landscape and, and beautiful light. Uh, if not, then it's no loss. I've spent an evening back out in nature again uh, and enjoying the experience of time with the barn owls. As you can see, folks, uh, as the, the sun is just illuminating that beautiful grass uh, in front of us. So my plan is to go across to the other side of the dike and then to just find somewhere uh, and sit and wait for this first session. Uh, I'll check, see what the background's like, but if I can include some of that beautiful light on the grass uh, with an owl, uh, against a dark background then uh, like I said we are, I have just seen him but uh, sometimes he goes across to the field on the other side of the road over over there um, and he does travel along this path and there's a track uh, up towards that tall tree you can see just here uh, so he does travel along there. That would make a beautiful shot of him uh, going through the, the alleyway in the, in the tree line. Um, it's a little track, there, like a farmer's track. Uh, but as you can see now, as the sun starts to come out, hopefully, uh, you can pick up that, the colour in that grass and the light in that grass. And that's, that's beautiful. Okay, folks, as you can see, it's a gorgeous uh, sunset tonight. So I'm gonna set up and maybe, maybe wait for just the sunset. 
see what happens. This cloud I'm hoping is gonna light up. So I may I may be looking to do a composite. So I need to grab this light quickly just for a landscape shot. Okay folks, this is my landscape as you can see I've got a lovely leading line and some colours developing in the sky. Uh, <clears throat> so I've got my A7 III out, I'm going to do uh, a, an exposure blend here. So uh, I'm first of all exposing for my highlights and I'm still under exposing, no filters, no, no CPL. Uh, so the first shot, quarter of a second at ISO 100 at F11, just to capture some of that beautiful uh, sky. And I'm on a, a five second timer. And then I'm going to do a simple, bring it into uh, the rule of th on the first third, reassess the light meter there, and I'm saying I'm two stops under. So I commonly uh, shoot at one one stop below and, and then put out, I'll put it to 0.7 uh, on my light meter saying half a second uh, and five second timers on and there we go so th there's the two shots I have shot that twice but uh, I'm just waiting for uh, <clears throat> just wait to see if this colour develops in, in the sky uh, if the owl comes there I'm quite tired actually it's really humid uh, today and uh, I've still got I've got when I first got here there was a bit of a breeze so I had my paramour on and now I'm sweltering uh, sweating cobs in, in this gear but, uh, but I'll get the uh, landscape shot I quite like that uh, I don't think uh, it's getting on a bit now I th uh, my dream shot of having the bird on the perch there uh, I've not seen them on that for, for a little while like I say that that's gonna take some time but I may I may come back and do that in the future. Oh my God, I can't believe it. But the owl is sat on the perch. And I'm not in position. Uh, bloody mixing landscape with wildlife. I'm gonna, he knows I'm here. I've already grabbed a couple of shots. I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit closer. But chasing birds is never a good idea. shots <coughs> the concept me concept that's the big thing the concept dream shot is definitely on and I may have captured something quite nice there but uh, let's see what I'm going to do is just leave me a landscape kit here which weighs an absolute ton uh, and I'll take you for a little walk just while there's nice light and then hopefully uh, I'll share the dream and, and maybe one day I'll, I'll get that perch shot. <laughs> oh my God, I could kick myself uh, for not following my plan. <laughs> okay, yeah, there's even a, a beautiful church spire there. Uh, so hopefully you can pick up on uh, my shared compositional idea. Uh, I am going to, I'll be even more determined to come back now and uh, make that shot a reality. Uh, here we go. Uh, 
just check, I've not checked my camouflage net for a couple of days, but anyway, as you can see, obviously I'd raise the camouflage net, they're on, there's extendable poles there, but <laughs> Oh well, you live and learn and I may have got something. Uh, may, good, good things come to those who wait. Uh, so I may have got something uh, which will just motivate me even more to come back here uh, and, and get that uh, stunning, stunning perch shot. Okay, folks, I'm, I'm going to sign off here for, for tonight. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you've managed to get through to the end, uh, well done. I hope I've not bored, the, bored you to tears and uh, hopefully you've uh, enjoyed the evening with me in this particular session. Uh, I could go into the uh, like and subscribe, but I'm really not uh, looking to become a YouTube star. I'm just trying to share my learning, uh, carry on picking the brains of people who, who are far more experienced than me um, and if I can contribute in some way uh, and if you feel like engaging that with me then I'll do my best to answer your, your comments uh, but like I say I, I'm not here uh, for a numbers game, I'm, I'm not here for, for the likes, I, I do photography for, for my own mental well-being um, my own health, health and well-being uh, and I love I, I just love nature and being outdoors um, <clears throat> and hopefully I've, I've capturing uh, something nice and, and for my own personal get that wall hanger let's get out there and get them done right thanks very much folks bye for now